equal 66 pounds of force at the point of imbalance. Once this spot on the tire begins to wear, it often leads to hopping, creating additional flat spots circumferentially around the tire. Now that we have a basic understanding of the properties of rubber, this segment of the video will attempt to explain some of those outside influences that most affect drive tire wear. The vast majority of tire wear concerns on drive axles can be included under the following three irregular wear conditions. Shoulder step wear, heel toe wear, or alternate lug wear. Shoulder step wear will appear on the shoulder of the tire its early stages will be confined to the inside shoulder of the tire. It may later appear on the other tires and include both shoulders. Tires with solid shoulders are more resistant to this wear. This wear is typical for tires delivering high mileage. The underlying cause of this wear is rubber slippage while exiting the contact patch. This wear can be aggravated by problems with the suspension. With heel toe wear, each tread block around the entire circumference of the tire is worn in a sawtooth fashion from the leading edge to the rear of the block. This wear results from extreme rubber slippage in high torque applications such as steep grades and pickup and delivery operations. This wear is often caused by mismatched duels or uneven inflation pressures between tires in a dual assembly. Changing the direction the tire travels or rotating it can minimize this wear. Correcting inflation pressures may also alleviate this condition. With alternate lug wear, alternate tread blocks wear to different depths around the entire tire. This is usually seen symmetrically on every second or third block. This wear is a result of unequal tire diameters. These differences are created by uneven inflation pressures or mismatched tires in a dual assembly. This condition can be aggravated by worn suspension components or axle misalignment. Another topic of concern is fleet maintenance practices. Good fleet maintenance practices can help reduce the outside influences that cause tire wear. The most critical factor in tire maintenance is proper inflation. Pressures should be checked when the tires are cold, in other words, before they are driven. This is a procedure that needs to be part of any preventive maintenance program. In addition, the best method of avoiding damage and or irregular wear due to tires of unequal circumferences mounted in dual on a tandem truck is to match tires so that the average tire diameter on one axle is within one quarter inch of the average tire diameter on the other axle. And finally, as with any comprehensive tire pressure maintenance program, a truck alignment has never been as important as it is today. When is the best time to do a vehicle alignment? When new trucks are delivered to your fleet. When trucks come in for your first PM. When worn, bent, or broken suspension parts are replaced. Or when a regular tire wear is noticed. To get maximum tread life from radial trailer tires and to reduce tire cost per mile, it is essential to minimize uneven tread wear. Today's radial tires are designed for slow wearing to prolong tread life and to reduce scrub while increasing fuel efficiency. But the tire life will be shortened when tire or vehicle maintenance is not adequate. Regional applications may tend to scrub off any uneven wear patterns before they are evident. The consequence with longer wearing tires is that small degrees of movement or squirm of the tread rubber contacting the ground may lead to irregular wear. This wear may be so small as to remain unseen until an extended period of miles have been driven. Maintenance and alignment tolerances are very important as we extend the wear life of the tire. But the tendency is to overlook these important areas. Poor tire inflation maintenance and misalignment represent the most common cause of irregular wear patterns and generally have the most serious impact on tire wear. Inadequate inflation maintenance is a common cause that is most often overlooked, while misalignment is probably the least understood and often last to be corrected problem. Tolerances, as allowed by the Trailer Manufacturers Association, is one-eighth of an inch from the kingpin to the axle ends and one-sixteenth of an inch between axles. 
To describe the result of the external forces affecting the footprint contacting the surface of the road, imagine the following. As you push up and down on the center of the tire, the result is a flex or squirm on the tread edges. This action creates an erasing effect that will allow the onset of abnormal wear. Sensitivity to irregularities related to trailer tires are air pressure, mismatched tires, out of round or imbalance, suspension system, and load. Insufficient air pressure as related to load creates heat and additional movement within the tire. The result is increased irregular wear. Mismatched pressures in dual assemblies will create tires of different diameters, resulting in irregular wear on the smaller tire. At no time should the difference between tire pressure in dual assemblies be greater than 10%. When selecting tires for dual application, they must have similar diameters. This is controlled by selecting tires by size, design, and tread depth. Mismatching will result in rapid or irregular tread wear. Correct diameters may be found by selecting tires with a circumference within three quarters of an inch of each other. Incorrect mounting of the tire or the installation of the assembly on the vehicle can result in an out of round or imbalance situation, which will cause irregular wear. The suspension system provides the most important contribution to the tire's performance. Worn suspension components cause irregular wear by allowing the trailer to create outside forces stressing the footprint of the tire. On a lightly loaded or empty trailer, the footprint is greatly reduced, allowing some tires to lose contact with the road. This smaller footprint generates uneven stress on the tires. An improper or incorrect tracking condition introduces side forces, further contributing to lateral scrub and toe slip wear patterns. In this situation, the trailer is forced to follow the tractor, placing diagonal stresses on the tires. There are several wear patterns as referenced by the maintenance council. First is diagonal wear, which can be caused by side forces imposed by a combination of alignment and suspension problems that create diagonal stress in the footprint on the tire. The second is shoulder scrubbing scuffing wear and is found on one or both shoulders due to excessive lateral scuffing of the tread, especially in tight turns on spread or multiple axle trailers. Third is erosion river channel wear. This wear is representative of slow wear rates on trailer axles and can be considered normal for this application. The pattern may vary with the individual tire tread design and construction type. Fourth is erratic wear and multiple flat spotting on individual ribs. A wide range of situations can cause this type of wear, including but not limited to lack of shock absorber control, mismatched tire sizes and or inflation pressures between dual assemblies, out of round assemblies, worn or loose wheel components or excessive use of trailer brakes. In this video, we have tried to cover the most common tire wear conditions. We have discussed both normal tire wear and the probable causes of irregular tire wear. Additionally, some solutions have been offered for these situations. These solutions will not always be the answer, but they can help to isolate, diagnose, and prevent the majority of irregular tire wear conditions found on equipment today. Keep in mind, the tire's footprint is influenced by tremendous forces as it rotates. The wear pattern is a direct result of the shape of the tire's footprint when it comes in contact with the surface of the road. The footprint shape is ultimately formed by a combination of several factors. These factors include the tire's design, the effect of load and inflation, the mechanical influences created by the vehicle, and of course, the road surface. All of these factors act together to determine the type of wear your tire will exhibit. This is summed up by the maintenance council. Inflation pressures and axle misalignments are maintenance-related causes of irregular wear patterns. These represent the most common causes for irregular wear and generally have the most severe impact on tire wear when compared with other causes. With this new understanding of tire wear, you now know two of the primary external causes of irregular tire wear. Additionally, you know the areas to examine during preventive maintenance. These areas will include pressure maintenance and full vehicle alignment. 
Just as tire pressure checks are part of a complete maintenance schedule, periodic alignment checks must become part of your regular maintenance program. Michelin, a better way forward.